Hey everybody, I'm Alan with Bricks and Blocks Gaming, and in this video for the game of Stargrave, I'll be discussing the dark energy power, explaining what it does, suggesting some tips and strategies for using it, and giving my opinion and rating for it. So let's get to the Bricks and Blocks of Dark Energy. In the main Stargrave book, Dark Energy is one of the core powers for the Mystic Background. It has an activation number of 10, causes 1 strain damage when successfully used, and it's a line of sight power, but is limited to targeting a figure within 12 inches of the activator. And it is subject to the rules for armor interference. This is one of the few powers in the game of Stargrave that generates an attack. A quick reminder about these kinds of powers. First, a roll is made to determine if it's successfully activated, and then a separate shooting attack roll and opposing defense roll is made. The activator shoot value is never applied to the roll. However, normal modifiers for shooting attacks, for terrain and other things, are applied. An exertion can be used to improve the activation roll, but not the shooting attack roll. Dark Energy creates a plus 5 shooting attack against a figure within 12 inches and line of sight. If the figure is a robot, this is increased to a plus 7 shooting attack instead. Additionally, this attack ignores all armor, including combat armor, the target is wearing. Since it says armor worn, this means creatures with naturally high armor aren't affected by this reduction. And that most commanders and soldiers will have an armor value of just 9 against this. Normally, when a shooting attack, including those created by powers, is fired into an existing combat, the target is randomized. This power is an exception to this rule though, as it's allowed to target a specific figure within a combat. This can be extremely useful in general, but also if the player likes to keep a bodyguard near their commander that can engage nearby hostiles while their boss continues to rain down bolts of energy on these enemies. This also comes in handy if the commander ends up in combat, as they can use this without fear they may accidentally target themselves. A plus 5 attack is pretty reliable for connecting with its target, and when it does, will often deal a lot of damage. And the plus 7 against robots makes this really potent against crews that like to fill their ranks with mechanical allies especially combined with the armor reduction it causes. This power also scores a lot of thematic points, as it's a great one to choose if creating something like a space wizard or dark jedi, and it even works for a figure that's just hauling a large gun. Since doing regular shooting attacks with the commander isn't the best choice, as they don't gain experience points for that, narratively saying their weapon is producing the dark energy is a way to use a figure that looks like they're built for combat even though for actual gameplay purposes, they're using wizardy abilities. And they'll gain experience as they do their shooting. I have a lot of good things to say about dark energy. The shooting attack it generates is strong, and against robots is even stronger. And the armor interference, while being an unfortunate penalty, makes sense to help keep it balanced. But with a base activation number of just 10, giving it to any non-mystic captain in heavy armor would still activate the power on a 14, which would work well as a 1 or 2 time per game power to use against robots, or just as a general intimidation tool to keep every enemy cowering behind cover. Also, the 12 inch distance is kind of a bummer, but traveling with a bodyguard like I mentioned earlier can help with this, and also isn't much of a problem if used just once or twice per game like I just mentioned. And since only one strain damage is given for using the power, it can easily be used multiple times in a battle without the fear of causing too much self-damage. So because of all of this, I give Dark Energy 5 out of 5 stars, as it's an extremely powerful ability that the crew's entire strategy can be built around, and that can drastically affect the way an opponent creates their crew. Robots will be less attractive to them, and their battlefield strategies will likely need to change to keep their figures out of sight and range from a dark energy wielding commander. 
Be sure to check out my other Stargrave content and comment below with your thoughts about Dark Energy, whether you agree or disagree with my assessment. I'm Alan with Bricks and Blocks Gaming. Thanks for watching and play well.